Hey guys, welcome to New Light Shadows. This is a collective reading for whoever is meant to watch this. These are general messages. So let's see, what is the message that you need to know? Angels, guides, positive energies only, message from spirit. Someone is getting upset that their spell work isn't working. You guys are hearing noises. This is a collective message, but the energy is very intense. I wasn't going to do a reading, but I'm hearing like you need to do this reading. So the seven of pentacles, someone is manifesting and doing spell work, but then I see someone giving up and walking away. Someone is angry. Their spell work isn't working. I keep getting that. You yeah, have the queen of wands. Someone is mad because you're actually very successful. And the fact that I'm like yelling all of a sudden, it's like someone tried to stop you. What is the message? Yeah, because you have a lot of spiritual strain here. Light a white candle. Do some cleansing. Angels, guides, positive energies are all around you. Your ancestors are here with the ace of swords. Communication, truth, clarity. Archangel Michael is protecting you. Your ancestors. I keep hearing. Yeah. You have spiritual ancestors here. Your spiritual team is protecting you. You are protected. You're protected. You're safe. There's a woman in a very long dress, very Victorian style is what I'm seeing. With the Nine of Cups, you can channel her or communicate with this past loved one. You may not even know who this woman is. It's from like many, many family lineages ago. Yeah, with the moon. She has a message. What's the message? Wow, look at, I said she has a message and the Eight of Wands is here. You guys may be seeing a lot of crows or blackbirds. It's because she's trying to protect you from your enemies. You don't know who this woman is. But with the 13th, it's like, um, the 13th, okay. The 13th was significant, but I'm seeing the death, this is a death card. Santa Muerte is what I'm getting, but I'm also getting um. this woman is here to protect you because santa muerte for those of you who are devotees of her has is allowing her to come through to restore balance because some of you this past loved one is a witch and she is protecting you it's like many 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 years ago and this woman is a witch from your family lineage or you have ancestral protection you guys might be seeing 1221 with the Ten of Swords, yeah, this person was persecuted for um, her healing, her healing gifts or practices, and she is helping you to end any type of negative energy that anyone is trying to send to you now. They're trying to block your throat chakra with the Magician Gemini energy. They're trying to take your blessings, your soul, your essence. Why is this past love one here? To fight, to be strong, to help you find your strength against your enemies. Judgment was called, the portal is open, your ancestors are here to protect you. With the king of cups, for some of you, this is a man also here. Yeah, there's a man who, okay, this, I'm getting kind of like the barren type of energy here. Because it's like someone who has love for you, but he's wearing a hat. And it's also like, it's almost like cheers for those who have passed on, like the graveyard, the cemetery. This man loves you or is protecting you and your true love. I'm also hearing your love of self and your stability with the king of pentacles. You have someone here, you've been hearing sirens a lot because you're being protected. Someone here is almost like, holy shit, like I've been caught. I know I'm doing magic on you and you found out about it. Now I don't know what to do. Whoever's doing spell work knows that you know. Angel number 414. The sun. Yes, truth and clarity is being illuminated to you. Your ancestors are here to protect you. This past loved one is here to protect you from any type of spell work or anything evil, negative, or toxic that anyone is trying to do. They try to block your blessings. These people don't want to give up. And it's really annoying. But at the end of the day, your whole home is protected with the Four of Wands. There's a lot of peace and tranquility that surrounds you. And your spiritual team is protecting you. With the Queen of Cups, it's like you are very intuitive. You're very gifted with the Page of Wands. You are receiving the messages that someone is getting karma with the Libra card here, Justice. 
and the Nine of Swords. It's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, who may have tried to send you a psychic attack that has an entity attachment here. Let's keep his little dude in the bed with him. This person has attachments. I'm getting Goddess Bastet is protecting you with the Two of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Someone is trying to block your financial blessings. They don't want you to be successful. They want you to be stressed, worried, low vibrational, because that's how this person is. But they can't stop your blessings. Papa Legba is here. With the King of Wands, this person is trying to affect your sacral chakra. So you guys might be feeling some type of way with your like sexual energy is what I'm getting. Because this person is trying to cause burdens. However, you guys are protected with the Seven of Wands. You guys do you guys did some type of spell work to protect yourself under the moonlight because I'm hearing that song. Um I don't remember who sings it, but I believe he passed away. But it's that one song that's like moonlight, moonlight, something, something, moonlight. Is it X X X Tentation? Tentation? Sorry, I can't. Who is that? The song is called Moonlight, is what I'm getting. With a chariot. Your spiritual team is here to help you move forward. This could be a cancer who is very foolish about the spell work that they did, or you're a cancer, but you have a new beginning, and someone is upset that you don't want to be with them anymore. Aries, you're Sagittarius. They lit a candle to cause some type of stagnant energy or to try to hold you back because they want you to be broke with no money. This person thought that they were hiding what they really wanted from you as far as, like, you didn't know what they were doing, but you do know. And this person is sending you the evil eye because they don't want you to have money because you don't have money. With the Nine of Pentacles, you're very abundant, though. I just heard a crow outside. So it's like your spiritual team is making sure that no one and nothing will stop your blessings. The financial success. We work with Papa Legba, road opener spells, things like that are going to help you. With the Six of Swords, someone does not want you to move forward because this was almost upside down. But this person is trying to cause a lot of conflict in your headspace so that you do not move forward. They're upset that you have victory and success. The Six of swords with the six of wands this person sees you moving forward if you were stuck in a rut they see you like healing forgiving the past letting go like you are i heard 7 11 you have um like <coughs> oh my god <clears throat> wow throat chakra blockage <clears throat> archangel michael protect our space protect me Sorry, guys, someone's trying to block my throat chakra. They don't want me to give you this message. But those who are meant to receive this message are going to receive it. The strength of the Most High and all of the strong spiritual energies of love and light are allowing this message to get through to those who are meant to receive this message of protection. Someone who's watching this video has an enemy that is trying to block them from their blessings. I am giving you the truth on how to heal. My hand is getting very hot. You can benefit from a Reiki healing session. Watch those videos. Do a Tibetan bowl meditation. Cleanse yourself, do a road opener spell. If you need help with any of that, let me know. I will assist you. Obviously, I charge for that. But if you want to do it, you can because you are very gifted as well as I am. Like you guys know what to do is what I'm getting. So the message is continue to fight and move forward. Someone was trying to slow you down. Maybe it worked just a teeny tiny bit is what I'm getting. But it's not going to work anymore because you are moving forward. You have peace of mind. You have cut cords. Someone is angry that you are no longer tied down to this ball and chain that was slowing you down. You have positive movement forward. And this person is upset that you are celebrated. You are well known. If you have some type of like a, a business of some sort, this person is angry that it's actually successful. They want it to be you. They want it to be successful. They want it to be popular on social media and the limelight in your business. Like whatever they did. I just heard someone put you like uh, to sour your wealth and your abundance. It's not working. It's blocked. It actually is going back to them. Yeah, look at with the six of pentacles. They did something to cause some type of imbalance. And this is a spiritual battle with the five of wands. But with the seven of cups, all of their spiritual work that they tried to do against you to block you to cause burdens is going back to them. I heard by the power of three times three. Because you're stronger here with the Queen of Swords, Libra energy. Look at that. You are meant to have abundance. You continue to focus and work on yourself and you didn't pay this person any mind. I heard those that matter don't mind and those that mind don't matter. That Dr. Seuss quote. But look at here. This person was secretly doing spell work on you. Do you guys see that voodoo doll? He's like pricking with the needle. If you guys feel pins and needles on your body, it's because this person is doing spell work against you. That's very, very specific. That's not for everybody. 
But if you're feeling that and you know you don't have any type of like physical health concerns or issues, that is the, yeah, they want, look at, they want to keep you stuck. And they want you to like not be able to focus, confusion spells is what I'm getting, keep you stuck and not moving forward. This person is going to be blocked in all times and places from trying to harm you. With the page of cups, this person was a fake friend and you do not speak to this person anymore. This person is doing spell work or they paid a witch doctor to try to get you to slow down. And the reason that this person is upset is because I'm hearing you don't want to sleep with them. Very specific. You don't want to sleep with them and they want you back. Okay, yeah, you're the empress. You could be older and you're looking back at this person like, like, why would I want to be with you? I'm moving forward. And this person is like, no, come sleep with me. But look at this ugly like creature. Like this person has a negative, like a like a sexually transmitted a, like a demon attachment, entity attachment, where it's like this person's body is energetically unclean is what I'm getting. This person is connected to low vibrational energies and this person is almost like spiritually dirty. They need like a spiritual cleanse. But this person wants you because you're light, you're a chosen one, 1111. This person did a petition on you because this almost fell on my candle flame. So this person wrote something, look at it. It's like they made a wish hoping that you would come back to them. This person keeps doing it and they keep failing because they're not meant for you. Yeah, with the three of pentacles, this could be someone you worked with or you knew in the workplace. It's like they tried to do some type of spell work because they wanted to be with you because one, they're attracted to you, but they also wanted your money or your blessings. It's like if this person wanted to befriend you or be around you because they were attracted to you, it's like it was only because they saw that you have so many blessings of money. They knew your future before you did, whoever I'm reading for. Yeah, with the Knight of Swords. And that's why this person was pursuing you, but you were not interested in them. So now they're doing spell work to try to manifest you back into their life, but they just want you for your money. It's like this person is only interested for financial stability. Yeah, with the King of Pentacles, this person wants your success and because you turned them down and you said no this person is realizing that their sex magic their manifestations to try to get you back isn't working so now they're actually trying to steal your light and if they are doing sex magic it's trying to manifest your money they want your success it's like they want to be you for some of you this is someone of the opposite sex i don't feel like it's the same sex but this person is only a page of pentacles which means they don't have as much abundance as you do and they want your money Look at that, the tower and the hermit. This person will have major regrets. If you guys have seen lightning or some weird energy or um, imagery in the sky in the daytime or at night, you're seeing weird things and you're like, what the heck was that? It's your spiritual team. I'm also hearing Archangel Metatron is coming through. Your light beings of protection are here and watching this person. And this person who's doing spell work against you, the tower will fall. Because whoever was doing this in secret, now they're scared shitless. Excuse my French, but that's what I'm hearing. They're going to be scared AF for what they've done. Look at the psychic attack. It's like it's going back to them. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Virgo. Because you are the true divine feminine, Queen of Pentacles, King of Swords. This could be a Gemini. This Gemini could have a negative entity attachment and they have their solar plexus is all effed up and they were trying to take your blessings. But you have a spiritual team, angels, ancestors, guides, the most high. I'm also getting goddess Hecate for some of you that you are protected from whatever spell work that this person tried to do your work, your job. They tried to cause conflict, lied about you, said bad things about you, try to give you bad reputation to try to block your abundance or your customers or whoever it is that you're like, I'm hearing your market base, like whoever it is that you are working with or whoever knew about you this person tried to cause blockages by saying lies about you but with the six of wands they are not listening because they're seeing that you're the real deal and everyone is like can't wait to talk to you like if you're a tarot reader you have a lot of people in line to do readings for because it's like they want you to do a reading because they see that you're the real deal because you actually are a chosen one and this person is upset that you're getting more customers so let's say both of you guys are tarot readers and this person doesn't have the gift as strongly as you do because you're genuine like chosen one this person is jealous of your success and they're trying to be like you but when you are not being authentic you cannot progress so if this person is like watching you let's say you're on social media or on youtube or you have some type of platform and this person is like watching you be successful and they try to copy you it's not going to be successful because they are not being genuine to who they are they need to have their own signature like their own energy they shuffle the cards the way they shuffle them not copying you because that's never going to work yeah with the three of cups you are successful you are celebrated i'm also getting like um what's that called like jonah and the whale or something like that 
I don't know. There's something about that story. This person is going to be gobbled up is what I'm hearing because like your spiritual team is protecting you from this person's negative energy. They're not going to be successful. I feel, I heard I fear you. This person's afraid of you, but they still wanted to test the waters by doing magic against you. They tried to send negative energies to you. It was blocked with the queen of cups. You do have a spiritual mothering energy around you. You're very nurturing. You're an empath. You leave offerings. And because of that, your spiritual team is here. Goddess Hecate is very much present for someone out there. And karma. For some of you, this is a mother figure, a mother-in-law that spies on you or tries to see what you're up to. But with the six of pentacles reversed, this person is not going to drain you or take from you anymore in any way, shape, or form. And your last card is the hanged man. This person will be stuck. Because that's what they tried to send to you. They try to keep you stuck with your finances. 1551 angel number. And with the three of swords reverse, you're healing. You are protecting yourself. And you have true love here. This person also tried to cause conflict in your relationships. Um, or with anyone that you felt that you had like a strong bond with. This person just tried to block your blessings. Because they're jealous that they see you happy. And that is why they're getting karma. So I'm going to get a oracle card from the Halloween oracle deck that i have so let's see what is the message for you what do you need to know you have mummy change this person was trying to change your destiny you guys have um pharaoh's ancestors from egypt or you were egyptian in another lifetime but i'm getting your whoever you were in a past life that energy is being um, revitalized within you because you are a leader you are a pharaoh you are a king you are a queen and this person was trying to change your destiny, but this person is getting blocked. This person is not going to be able to change your destiny because you are royalty. That's what you've always been, and that's what you will continue to be in this lifetime as well. Final message from Spirit, please. Angels, guys, positive energies only. All right, so you got two, three cards. Let's see. Graveyard, unnecessary fear. This is definitely a past loved one who has come through. This is definitely some type of Egyptian ancestor. That is trying to communicate with you. Do not be afraid. For those of you who don't feel it's an Egyptian ancestor, it's definitely someone who has passed on there with you to protect you. Don't be afraid is what I'm hearing. Infinite possibilities with the skull of stars. I'm also getting you have star seeds, which is what we were talking about with Archangel Metatron and the light beings here to protect you. I'm also getting, um, if you are a devotee of Santa Muerte, she's allowing your past loved ones to come through. If you're not connected with Santa Muerte, your past loved ones are coming through either way. Like they are here and they are protecting you. And your last card is Mischief and Play, Trick or Treat. <laughs> Um, this past loved one is very playful, very jolly, has really good energy. They really want to connect with you. So if you're hearing all of these noises, they're trying to get your attention. But don't be afraid. This person is almost like they laugh. I just heard something crack in the living room. So this person likes to cause a little bit of mischievous energy. Like they like to play around and get you a little bit scared because they think it's funny. But this person is really having good intentions towards you. I'm also hearing they're happy that they can connect with you. I'm also getting some of you guys have like a servitor or a, a poppet or something that you're like, this is my guardian, my protector. And this energy is becoming more amplified to protect you and your space and your home. Yeah, scrying intuition. You guys need to scry. I have a candle here. And then with the crystal ball, um, some of you can naturally do this through a meditation, light a candle. I'm also getting if you use a spirit board or a Ouija board, make sure you're cleansing and protecting your space before you do that. That's very specific. That's not for everyone. But I do see you having the ability to connect with your intuition and see um, the messages that are there. There's a woman here for you. And she's making sure that you have a lot of blessings. This woman like to bake or you do. But if you bake something, a pastry, a bread, a pie... Um, something sweet and delicious. This is going to bring more prosperity into your life, as well as if you leave this as an offering for your ancestors. Because some of you already did this and they have abundance or you've burned ancestor money and that's why they're here is to tell you thank you. I heard is gratitude because you're expressing gratitude. So they're helping you heal. They're helping you get your energy back because someone was trying to suck you dry. Like, and no, no more. They're like, ha, 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 they can try. Yeah, spider community and web weaving. 
This person tried to cause confusion on the things that you were created, creating. The things that you created and what you're creating. This person is trying to cause stagnant energy. The spider is the baron. I'm getting baron Samadhi. And the lamp is remember that you can connect with your past loved ones on the other side. We are here. The lamp is also goddess Hecate, the torchbearer. I'm going to do a pick a card on, on these energies in the near future because I feel like they all want to talk. They all got messages. And yeah, look at, oh my God, you guys, I cut the deck. What did I say? One of you guys had a past loved one who was a witch or had like some type of spiritual healing energy. And this literally says witch. It says the earthly weaver of the world. So this witch is that um, like the energy of the spirit animal of a spider because it's saying that with her hands she can create the energy of alchemy and that is like the when the spider is creating its web that is like this witch which also lives within you who creates alchemy through the energy of healing from her hands through Reiki. And then you have eternal love. Love is love is love and it transcends physical death. So it's like this person it's telling you to remember that you were a witch in a past life, but I'm also seeing that if you feel like, no, I don't think I'm a witch or whatever, you are. But it's also like because you guys come from a line of witches, that is like if you had a past life, like that part of that past life is within you because two become one. So it's like your strength is being revitalized through this past love when she is here to connect with you, to give you a message because she is someone from the dead. But it's like she's here to tell you that you're strong she's here to like amplify your energy and connect with you and with jack-o-lantern protection i'm hearing my child i'm here to protect you and the candle that i just lit was for her to come through very beautiful very wise very angelic and because of the apple here risk and reward you took a risk on love no more tears no more bleeding heart is what i'm getting She's going to bless you with sweet love is what I'm hearing. This is beautiful. I almost want to cry. Mischief and play. I'm getting the same cards again. And then owl. Wise seeing and wise action. She's watching you through the spirit animals as well. You guys have a lot of intuitive messages. And the owls also represent the energy of death or a past loved one. Also intuition and wisdom. So it's like she is here. Even, if I, even as I have my hands like this, it's almost like you guys may also feel another hand like over you. Because she is like protecting you, surrounding you with loving energy. Two, 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 two on the clock. So very interesting reading. I may do um like ancestor messages or I've never done a Papa Legba reading. I don't know if that's allowed of me yet because I don't associate with that like I don't feel like I am a like true devotee in order to like do that so I don't feel like I might do that but um I feel like there's a message that needs to be given in a future reading so I'll see what I'll do I think I'll do goddess Hecate and I know there was a request on like who I heard who's harming you and how to protect yourself so maybe I'll do that one next all right so thank you for watching. I know this reading was all over the place. Let me know if any of this made sense because I feel like this was a terrible reading. I tried like to give the message and I'm like, oh my God, I'm getting messages like left and right and all over the place. Um, you guys, your hands are important. If you see your hands and you feel like they're someone else's hands and you're like, what the heck? Why do I feel like these are not my hands? It's because um, your ancestor or past loved one is connecting, you're channeling them and they're guiding you intuitively on what to do because they love you very much. Okay. So that's what I have for you. I heard I love you too. So they definitely like, you guys can talk, you can communicate. So I send you many blessings. Let me know what you think of this reading. It was very different. But um, thank you for watching and liking and subscribing and stay tuned for the next reading. Bye guys.